Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, I just finished up my stream here about 15, 20 minutes ago, and um, I still gotta do a bunch. I still gotta do some um, morning errand running. Gotta get a new TV and all that stuff. So, so yeah, I'm gonna. But so I wanna try to keep this as short as I can. But we'll we'll see as the video goes along. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to showcase this new team that I got. But uh, before I continue on. Uh, just gonna have some music going on in the background. Uh, Resonator, Warp Lord. Uh, I think I've had this kind of music in other videos too, but it was just the second thing. It was just the next thing that came up on my shuffle playlist. So let me go ahead and get that going. Okay, so. So this morning just did a whole bunch of vault runs. And eventually I. Man, I should get enough orbs to craft me a cassette. Or, I get Thorask. I'm gonna go with DJ Screw on this and just call him CT. It just kinda rolls off the tongue better. So, on that note, um, this is my the CTB team. So, um, you got this here. Probably the best board blower in the game. At least to me, anyway. Got an all-time classic here, uh, Queen Bee. The big thing with her, is, at least with this team, is one, the cleansing. That's gonna come in handy. It's gonna come in handy because this this team does have the potential to backfire on you a little bit. But another big one is uh, she creates uh, green and brown gems, which is what the rat is what CT uses. Green and brown. So and uh, so this guy here, just like Zolgoth, that kills an enemy, but he creates um uh, six cursed gems. They're actually brown. For the longest time, I thought cursed was a type of was like a purple type ability, but no, ah uh, creates six uh, brown gems, uh, six yellow giant ones. I don't have any uh, I don't have anything that generates yellow, so. And then six fairy fire, which are which are green. So all three of these um, gems has the potential to loop. So, but I I guess I mean it's basically a Zolgoth, but this is almost a pointless trait right here when you're matching skulls. But he's not he's not creating skulls. He's creating Creating up uh, looping gems, and then and then we got old oh, so another all-time classic right here. So I do a double runner too. Like I said a few moments ago, Queen Bee, she's gonna generate some uh, brown and greens. Almost, but not quite. Times of destruction. And again, like I said, it's got the potential to loop on itself. And for those that don't know, um, wish it would tool, give me a tool tip, but these uh, butterflies, they're uh, fairy fire gems. Um, you can you can match them, which I can't at the moment, but you can match them or you can explode them, and it still it still works. One little, uh, one little nitpicky downside is you can get a whole bunch of these big old symbols. It actually makes the uh, board a little bit harder to read. I like having these uh, smooth gems; they're easier on the eyes. And then 
also, like I said a few minutes ago, Royal Honey is gonna be a uh, Royal Honey is gonna come in real handy because you have the potential to curse yourself. You also have the potential to uh, fairy fire yourself as well. So. Probably going to want to find a four match. It's all CT is cursed right now. And then when they're all fairy fired, that means uh, Queen Bee's got to deal more damage to them. Another nice bonus. And then um, another good thing too is uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to doing delves and faction assaults, ideally, I prefer to use the uh, Mr. Squiggles team here, but uh, when possible, having a possessed king at the bottom. But uh, not every uh, you can't you can't use this team in every faction. Another alternative, um, you know, using different colors and stuff, but this is uh, not as not as good a Dell team. Because uh, High King, he, he's got no uh, skull damage reduction. The most he can do is Devour. But with this team here, there's a little bit of a ramp up. Yeah. His attack is 55 and he devours based on his attack. So, like I said, like I said a few moments ago, there's a bit of a ramp up with this one, because you're gonna have to use this ability to eliminate armor and then get his attack up to at least a hundred. Whereas Whereas uh, in this team here, I kind of have my hero at the top and elementalist, you know, rock solid and all that good stuff. You know, stunning freeze and burn, etc. etc. And on top of that, it's also got some cleanse. So, which my uh, my chomp team doesn't. It's not to my knowledge. So, so just a. Uh, a more solid Delve team overall. Um, Matt, let me, uh, yeah, I I won't be able to do it here. I'd have to go on my browser and pull up a website. It shows all the fashion colors. I think uh, Genki Call has it. But yeah, um, definitely green, so green and pretty much anything else. So yeah, this can be the team to use for Dells when you can't use your Zolgoth one. And then, let's do one more of these and I'm, uh, I'm gonna try this out in PvP. I don't, I don't really see it being 100% versatile, but we'll give it a go anyway. Yeah, 
yeah, let me, uh, let me go ahead and finish off this, uh, this explorer run here first. Just to... So there's no loose ends. Try it out, Giddy. Messy. Oh, holy shit, did I get lucky? Okay, seem... Uh, seem kind of doable, but I, like I said, I don't see me being able to use this team in every single situation, though. Yeah, definitely not for that one. Um, uh, Maybe? This, this is one of those, um, uh, Goopy novelty teams. Yeah, so much for that. Well, so much for that. Like I said, having these uh, big symbols, it kind of makes this board hard to read. Thought it was a poor match up here, but no, it wasn't.
they need it anyway. But alrighty, but yeah, that's that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Uh, feels kind of abrupt, but yeah, I just wanted to do a just wanted to do a demo of that team. So let me set to get this video uh, all prepped up and uploaded and all that other good stuff. So yeah. Uh, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.